Supergirl Season 3, Episode 16, Title of Two Minds. And this episode, I quite enjoy. I mean, since the two month break, they uh, I enjoy pretty much every single episode. There's a sense of enjoyment I have. Like, I applies, like, let's be honest, they, they fucked up the build up over our villain about Wayne. And since then, they kind of worked on this character. They worked the idea of, like, like the the whole idea of Linda, you know, trying to help Sam to understand what's going on with her, I find that engaging. And the scene between those two characters, where it's like, you know, basically you know, saying like, yeah, nothing's going to happen to your daughter, nothing's going to happen to you, things on those lines, is a really really great emotional scene. Um, and I'm like, surprisingly, you letting me give a crap. About this character, uh, like even Wayne. I mean, Wayne in this does this says like says like the the typical evil stuff, but you know it's more likely like you know you're weak or spoiled. Let me take over. You know we'll do great things together. You know things on those lines. But it works in this this kind of weird. You have the main story of you know. Kara, Morel, and Sango, and Brainiac 5 trying to find the last world killer. And I will say this it, it's all about the rivalry between the different ideas between Sango and Supergirl. And understand so, you know, Sango believes that the only way to do it, to only, the only way to stop these, you know, these war, uh, world destroyers is by killing is by killing them and Kawa being you know a Quitonian and being you know having the word super in her super name uh she believes you know there's always hope there's always a good side of humanity and we need you know killing is not the answer and you get this nice little rivalry like it is a, it is a good thing I will say this um I will say this um It has probably the scenes between those two characters kind of pointed out maybe the actress they got for Sarah Girl is fine. Like, she's okay. Uh, just because Alyssa Noyce is, like, gives this girl an Emmy every single time she's in an episode. Like, yeah, you know, I mean, you know, little acting. I like the idea of the, the cape trick thing. Um, getting shoved out of that face. I mean, really, I would say this. I get the cape thing. It's meant to be, like... Let's find a way to have have it more than just an accessory. I, I get it, but I swear it it's it's stupid the wrapping thing. I hope I hope that's not how they stop the world killers. I really hope I hope it uh, doesn't. I uh, 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 anyway, but anyway, um, also the highlight for this episode, but also the criticism is. It's all about when you know when has a real highlight within this episode. You know he gets exposed and he is poisoned and possibly dying, and he believes that that you know it might be too late. Like he would be able to do A and B and C and D and E F G and all that kind of stuff, but you know he thinks he might die. And there's this real great scene of that. The problem is is that Jimmy and Jimmy in this entire season. Has nothing to do except calling Lena, um, and 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 blankly, there's a part of me is like does just white Jimmy out of the, out of the show because you have no idea what to do with this character, and we gotta do the Wally thing. I say like just put him on Legends. It just does not work. It, it, it does not. It, they can't compete with that. So. It is one of those things where you have this character, you had ideas what to do with Jimmy in series one and season two, you have no idea what to do in him in season, season three. Um, and that suffers. That suffers a blow of, of a tension of a scene. It's a good scene, but it's like, come on, you know, make it, make it Kara, make it Alex, make it Master Manhunter, you know, stuff on the sides. But this episode I quite enjoy. Um, you know, except the whole Jimmy thing. Nothing we really must to really complain about. 